Alsa's Yeovil tried to add another chapter to their famous cup history. After a strong start from Cardiff, Yeovil had got back into the game when they went behind to a goal from Jeff Eckhart just before half-time. Yeovil were never outclassed and the stadium erupted when substitute Matt Hayfield equalised four minutes from the end to put the game into extra time. But despite an excellent performance throughout the rest of the match, Yeovil goalkeeper Tony Pennock made a crucial error and Cardiff's Kevin Nugent got the winner. It's a shame, wasn't it? I mean, you can't blame Tony Pennock really. He played brilliantly all night and had one slip up. You really can't blame him. I know he feels gutted, but uh, anyway, just concentrate on the league, go and win the trophy. So, as I said, we're up Basingstoke next week, so no worries about it. It's a bit of a bitter pill to swallow because at the end of the day, you know, we've gone out of uh, a game that I felt that we deserve something from. But uh, that's football. Um, the bottom line is Cardiff won the game 2-1. We're out of the cup, but we've done exceptionally well to go as far as we have done. And I think anybody that was in, at this game tonight and at the game in Indian Park shows how far Yeovil Town have come because they never outclassed us, for sure. That last five minutes of uh, normal time, I thought we might have just nicked it. You know, we had two great chances, but uh, it just wasn't to be tonight, you know. And uh, fair play to them. They're a strong side and uh, they came through in the end. So Yeovil are out. But even to reach the third round is a significant landmark in the club's extensive cup history. David Passmore, BBC News West, Yeovil.